the refugee camp that you are seeing in the background is comprised of internally displaced Ugandans who were evicted from forest reserves. Most of the people who are living in that internally displaced camp, the IDP, had fled to Rajtura to pitch camp around President Museveni's home as a gesture to show him that they do not have shelter and land on which to live on. As a result, they were pushed to come and settle where you are seeing in the district of Chigegwa. Apparently, a process is now moving on to have them resettled in some parts of Cheka 1 and Cheka 2, where government has huge chunks of land, apparently have people settling on them. But there is a process that is going to be used because we are meant to understand that not all those people who stay in that internally displaced people's camp are genuine refugees. Some of them we are meant to understand that they are trying to take advantage of a government program that is meant to offer land to those who are genuine and are internally displaced. While three quarters might genuine, be genuine, the a quota is a bunch of masqueraders. That may be the issue. Also, the question of settling over 5,000 externally displaced Ugandans who fled from Tanzania back home is also going on. But we want to screen the group to establish particularly the fear that we have that among them might be a few Tanzanians who might, who might have also just joined the Ugandans as they were coming. So that we don't resettle Tanzanians in the Uganda. We can call Tanzanians refugees. We can take them to a refugee camp if they want asylum. Government will have to go an extra mile to ensure that it offers to them shelter as well as offering to them genuine land title. This literally meaning that the land will now belong to them. If we are giving my body to a Rakai man, we give my body to this one who was evicted in the forest, that should also benefit a local who may have gone there, but now he finds himself there. Give him also some tail or some, but let him also have a good house and a land title for the peace that is going to be given. Of course, the office of the Prime Minister, more especially the department to do with disaster preparedness, is also preview to intelligence information, pointing out to a fact that there are some big wigs in the office of the president and in some other departments of government who have already secured huge chunks of land. I am also aware that outside Chegegwa, there are a few individuals who are based in Kampala and other areas who have interest in that land. Some of them are big chunks of land. They don't want this exercise to succeed. Fortunately, there are very few because some even work in the office of the big man and we have known them. Timothy Sibasi, the Star Vision, here in Chegegwa district.